Praise the Lord. Because I'll be combining English and English because this testimony, everybody needs to hear it. So, Agam Village to see my mom. On my way coming back, Noni me bus. I am a Michi. My elevator permanent sclerosis. I cannot control it again. Your, time, your what? Sorry. sorry, I use medical term. Sorry, my uh -huh. eyelids. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> so, I can't control it again. I tried to open my eyes. I can't make crazy me pe. I'm checko or I'm a so I'm a pharmacist. I'm not a girl from Bob Nancheko. Just weakness of medicine. More of all, I've been it again. Nime moto. I couldn't open it again. Where I can be a motor, I couldn't see. And as my foes of ma, I reached Holy Ghost. Motor touch a gun. The shiki can't deny a ban. So three weeks I was inside. I didn't come out. So I called my parents, I, my brothers. Say I see what is happening. They came. The drum got one of. I went to up to five hospitals in Enugu. There is no trace of nothing, nothing. I see now Mary Abia. So my brother said I should come back to Abuja. I return back to Abuja. Got the National Hospital Abuja. So the doctor referred me to two units, uh, ophthalmologists and uh, neurologists. So only neurologists, see now I'm suffering from a disease, Mastana Gravis, that the disease is uncurable, that is only, it can only be managed. That I should go to neurologist, uh, to neuro, uh, ophthalmologist. Gaku ophthalmologist. Now, although I'm suffering from Masana gravity that is uncurable, and I'm also suffering from another eye disease, glaucoma, that is also uncurable. I said, okay, no problem. I returned back. I explained everything to my brother. My brother said, okay. I should, that I'm a medical student, and I can't uh, go with this. I should come home and defer my admission and come back. Kami eba give you. So I returned back. I have said my school, everybody, I met my dean. Our dean said I should defend my admission. The whole student, everybody said I should defend my admission. So that day I was depressed, frustrated. On my way going home, I now saw, I was walking in town, one spirit told me I should look at this symbol. I saw the symbol, it was written in Redemption Church, Aban. My spirit said that next Sunday, I start going to that church. I was worshiping in the Salvation Ministry before, on Sunday. Nobody invited me to uh, Redemption Church. On Sunday, I took my Bible and entered the church. So after the service, I met that, uh, Pastor Justice. I met him. I didn't even know that uh, Redemption Church is existing. Like, I didn't know that this is, I didn't know that General Vice is there. I thought Pastor Justice is the owner of uh, Redemption Church. Of, of course. Because due to how serious and everything in, in his work. So I met him after the service, sir. See the problem I'm suffering for. And I told God I want to graduate as a pharmacist the day my mate are graduating that now they want to decide I should defer my admission. And that was, not, that was not my initial plan. He said that I should not try and defer the admission because already I've already processed the paper that I'm going to use in defending the admission. He said I should not try it. On the, that, within that week, I, I so much respect the man so much. I, I respect Pastor Joseph so much. I said, okay, let me believe in spiritual because I know that spiritual controls physical. I didn't defer the admission. I followed everything up. We are now for monogam, chemical defer admission. You are not seeing clearly. You are not, before you say something, you have to use your hands. Why, what are you trying to do? Why are you behaving like this? That I'm trying to take risks. And in my in our department, if you fail three courses, I'm going to two course, you fell out. So it's a very big distance. So I didn't defer the admission. I continued with them. Till one day, my auntie, Auntie Chichevim, yeah, now visited our school. He now told me that there's another, uh, I should come and see our GU, uh, that there's racial church in uh, Amit here. I was surprised because I didn't know, I didn't know that there's another church church. I said, okay, no problem. I, on, on Wednesday, I visited this church. So our, my auntie told uh, our daddy uh, everything. So he prayed for me here. I was sitting here. So he said I should return back the next day. So on the next day, he, she, he told me that no uh, my course mate, a lady, a girl, that. Uh, reported me spiritually that it's not an ordinary thing. So after everything, he gave me instruction. After the instruction, I followed the instruction. Although I call my, look at the thing, the worst. I called my auntie. My auntie will call uh, uh, Reverend Jude. After everything, they will pray for me, and uh, it will start getting better. All of a sudden, I was depressed again. I returned back to UNTH because my eyes only are causing more color. Like it's not inching me. Like it's getting worse. I talked about the doctors, uh, they saw me, 
I told them that I'm a pharmacy student. They said, okay, they are going to refer me to the senior professor. No, the same thing. Uh, they are, I, went, I, made, I, I made the man. The man said that I should come prepare for such. That this my eyelid cannot be, that I cannot control it again. It's, that this is uncurable. Once I'm operated, I can manage it small. So I said, okay. But I've already, I had one daddy told me that I should be careful so that someone will not take me to a place. I should be careful with everything I'm doing from now. I said, no problem. Our daddy had a program in me now, Aban, at, uh, at uh, Aban Field. I, I told God, I knew that before going to the program, I told God that I'm very sure that this man is your son, that my spirit is so much that accepted him that he's your son. And he has already said everything. And I'm a no attach. And I'm to show no one could that in Oguam. That if really you are the God of Redemption Church, I don't want to go for surgery. And I'm a pharmacy student, and I don't need problem with my eye because I read almost too far. So I said, okay, I, I went for the program. I thought I didn't even want the man to, do our daddy to see me or prophesy again. I just want to see his face. And once I see his face, let God just perfect what he planned. I went for the program. I saw him, Natchez. From that day to the next day, I, I went to, 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 uh, of the, to meet to this ophthalmologist in the eye clinic. My eye pressure that was over 25, you know, normal eye pressure is from like 11 to 20 or that range. My eye pressure that was like over 25 returned back to 19, normal eye pressure. <laughs> so it's not all that. My eyelid that I cannot control it myself started going up. And now, before my eyes is closed, if I want to see, I have to raise it like this. Now I can open my eyes. So the God of the nation is strong. I'm going to go the name of the Lord. When it is what? Faith. God cannot say what? No. That was a first touch. But the need for the second touch was the need of faith. I don't want to see, I don't want him to prophesy. I believe in the first prophecy. Once I see him, perfect your work. God is a spirit, and God hears all of us. God is your father. God is your father. He cares about you. All you need to do is to connect yourself to him. 